everyone and welcome back to this english course my name is shivani and today we are going to do another exciting topic of class 10th cbsc and that is footprints without the feet with that let's get started but first let me give you an introduction to the chapter the story is about a scientist named griffin he discovers the rare chemicals which can make a man invisible but at the same time the man can be touched and felt physically let's read and find out how he uses or misuses his powers for his own let me tell you something about the author too herbert george wells was an english writer he was prolific in many genres writing dozens of novels short stories and works of social commentary satire biography and autobiography and even two books on recreational war games he is now best remembered for his science fiction novels and is often called the father of science fiction along with jules verne and hugo gernsback with that let's get started with the summary The story is about a scientist named Griffin. He had been discovering many ways which could make a man invisible and finally swallowed certain rare drugs which made him invisible. He was first noticed by two boys in staircase of a house where they could just see his footsteps and started following it. they follow it until the footsteps are fainter and cannot be seen first as he is feeling cold he enters a mall for some warmth after the stores shut down he decides to wear some warm clothes and eat something he first unboxes a few clothes and wears them then from the kitchen of a restaurant he eats cold meat and some coffee later he goes to a grocery store and eats sweets and drinks wine he then falls asleep on a pile of quilts he then wakes up in the morning when some of the store assistants had seen him and started chasing him he quickly threw away all the clothes he was wearing and became invisible again then he started roaming around again without any clothes in the cold winters of london he then decides to steal clothes from a theater company as he knew he would get something there to cover his face as well he then steals bandages for his face dark glasses false nose and a hat for covering himself he then hits the shopkeeper and steal all his money soon he realizes that london is too crowded to live like this and decides that he would go to a remote village he books two rooms at an inn in the ipping village he reaches there and it is strange for the people of ipping that a stranger with such a weird appearance has come to stay at an inn during the winter season once his money is over he steals from people and it also hits landlord and his wife when they try to check his room in his absence then the village constable is asked for help but before that mrs hall the wife of the landlord asks him some questions regarding who he is and what he did to her for nature this makes him really furious and he decides to show her who he really is the men the people then see a headless man and mr jaffers the constable who also finds out that he would have to arrest a man who doesn't have a head they are unable to catch griffin 
removes all of his clothes and becomes invisible. He then knocks out Jeffers as he tries to catch him. Later, we are done with the summary. But first, let me give you some questions related to it. First question is, how did the invisible man first become visible? And the answer is, the invisible man become visible when he accidentally stepped into some mud and his foot strips, footprints started becoming visible to two boys who followed him until his footprints fainted and became invisible again. He got rid of them and spent a night at a large London store where he wore some clothes and slept on a pile of quilts. The next morning when he was still sleeping, the store assistant started coming in and saw him, which was actually the first time he was seen. Now let's take a look at the second question. What curious episode occurs in the study? The answer is, the clergyman and his wife were awakened early one morning by noises in their study room. When the clergyman went to the study with a metal rod and looked around, he couldn't find anyone. He even looked under the desk, behind the curtain and up the chimney, but no one was seen. The strangest part was that even though nobody was there, the desk was open and money was missing from the door. So this was some questions related to the chapter. I hope the video was helpful to you and thank you so much for watching.